The Soviets liberated Auschwitz 75 years ago today. A few thousand survivors were still there. Of course, the world has a dwindling number of Holocaust survivors all these decades later. People like Ausi Sladek, who lives in Colorado. Those survivors are honored through the lens of a photographer named Wayne Armstrong. His exhibit, called Abide, is currently at the Meisel Museum. Our Byron Reed visited. So we are in an exhibit called Abide, where a person can come and actually sort of abide in this very somber space where a lot of survivors reside. My actual name is Oscar. My nickname was Asi, so everybody knows me as Asi. I was born in Slovakia, 1935. We can really read the stories and see the people that are affected, survivors that live in the Denver area. I grew up in a uh, Jewish uh, middle-class family. Uh, my parents uh, had a store. In your mind's eye, picture them at 90 years old, where they were at five or six years old when they were actually surviving the Holocaust. I was a very scared person when I was young because I knew that there is this monster who was speaking over the you know, radio. So what you're seeing here is a combination, what I call conceptual photography. They seized our, our bank accounts, they took away our businesses, my parents' business was taken away. Most of my family died in Auschwitz. By us avoiding being picked up and sent away, uh, we were actually fugitives of the law. It's to remind the, the next generation of the Holocaust, and what a better way to do it than to say, hey, these people are still walking amongst you. This, this is a real special exhibit. Somebody made me look like, like John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> the exhibit is relevant today because of the rise in anti-Semitism, the racism, um, the bigotry. And I see these people, and, and that's really how I remember them. A black ribbon denotes all the folks here in the exhibit that have passed away since I photographed them. We are dwindling very fast. You know, we are all in our 80s, and a number of them in the 90s already. And make you say to yourself, what can I do with what I've got and the blessings that I've had to shine a light on the folks that are less fortunate? In a very short while, we won't have a lot of these folks around to be able to ask and to be able to talk to. So I want people to know that this resource is there for them. This is a real special exhibit, and what he was trying to do is to show these people just as average human beings. Yes, to remember and then to act, to act to fight hate.